The Wise Rat In a small hill, there were many rats' burrows, plants were also planted on it. There were no rats' burrows among the plants. One of these burrows was a mouse's burrow. She lived alone. She was quite wise. Often rats would come over her with their problems, and she would give solutions according to her wisdom. That is why all the rats respected him. Once it happened that during the rainy season it rained heavily, due to which many insects and other animals were frightened and came towards these burrows. Small insects became the food of the mice, while the larger insects were chased away. Among them was a small turtle that was slightly larger than the mice in size. He would get into everyone's burrow and eat the food stored there. The rats tried hard to drive him away, but they had no success. The turtle was very clever and cunning. All the mice, fed up, went to the wise mouse and asked him for help. The mouse reassures all the mice that she thinks something about getting rid of the tortoise. The mice return to his comfort. Some distance away, under the cover of the plants, the tortoise was listening to them all. The tortoise first intended to teach the mouse a lesson. He sneaked into his burrow, thinking about how to get rid of him. After thinking for a while, a deep satisfaction spread across her face, as if she had made a decision. The tortoise entered the rat's burrow. Chuhia did not ask any questions, but she came to him with two fat red berries in a bowl. The turtle started looking at her in surprise. The turtle picked up the two red berries and put them in his mouth, one by one. The pulp of the legs was very juicy and sweet. The turtle thought that he would stay here now, at least he would get to eat the sweet berries. The turtle did not know that there is a kernel inside the toe, which is sucked and thrown away. He got tempted and tried to swallow the kernel, so it got stuck in his throat. Then what happened? The turtle gasped in pain. It was neither speaking nor breathing properly. After a while it became difficult to breathe. The mouse was very worried to see that if the tortoise died in its burrow, who would pick it up and take it out? Suddenly, an idea came to her mind. He told the turtle that if he went to the doctor immediately, he could help him. The turtle was very worried about the pain. He asked for the doctor's address by sign, so he showed him the way. The turtle fell down and got up and walked towards it. He was holding his throat with both hands. The road was very bad. There was mud everywhere. The tortoise, unaware of this, continued to move forward in the intensity of his pain. The mouse was following him. When the tortoise had advanced enough, his feet sank into the mud. He forgot the pain in his throat and started trying to get his feet out of the mud. On one side, the lump stuck in his throat was causing pain. On the other hand, the swamp was slowly swallowing his body. When the tortoise disappeared completely in the swamp, the mouse thanked Allah and returned back to his home. Everyone had lost their lives from the turtle. The rainy season had also ended and the sun shone everywhere. Now the mice were no longer afraid of anyone. The mouse invited everyone to his house and invited them. Hans laughed and said that what he had done was that the tortoise walked on its own feet and entered the swamp. Hearing this, all the rats thanked him and laughed loudly.